Come on, give him a big hand as he goes before the Lord and is used of God. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. also give honor to my pastor and first lady. Thank you for this opportunity and her absence. And thank you, Elder John Machuku, for thinking of me. <laughs> Scripture today is Jonah 3, verse 1 through 5. And it says, Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh, Nineveh was an excitingly great city, a three-day journey in extent. And Jonah began to enter the city on the first day's walk. Then he cried out and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God, proclaimed a fast, and put on sad cloth from the greatest to the least of them. The message today is witnessing to lost souls. We all know the story of Jonah. God came to Jonah and told him to go to Nineveh and cry out against the city's wickedness. Instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah went in the opposite direction to Tarshish by ship. While on their way, the sea became rough, the men became very afraid and began to pray to their gods. But the storm got worse. The captain then asked Jonah to call on your God Perhaps your God will save us. Jonah was a Hebrew. He worshiped the God of the heavens that made the sea and the dry land. The men on the ship being in this challenge saw their gods could not help and instead turned to Jonah's God for help. Jonah being on the ship was a reason to witness to these lost souls. Matthew 5.16 says, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. After Jonah was thrown into the sea, the storm stopped and the sailors made vows and sacrifices to God. The miracles they saw brought these men to God. The story goes on to Jonah being in the whale's belly for three days and three nights. He thought about not wanting to do what God assigned him to do. He prayed and the Lord answered his prayer, released him from the whale. Isaiah 44, 22 says, I have not blotted out like a thick cloud your transgressions and like a cloud your sins return to me for I have redeemed you. Jonah went to the people of Nineveh and preached to them the message the Lord gave to him. They believed God, proclaimed a fast, turned from their evil way, and God saw their works. God forgave him and decided to not have them overthrown. The takeaway from the the takeaway God wants you to have from this message is even your enemies need to know about God. And you do not decide the souls that should be saved. And God brought the, us on this earth to teach, to preach, and to share the word of God. Thank 
Thank you.